Hello students and welcome back. Today we are going to cover chapter number four, the human development for class 12th geography. And to tell you, this chapter has been covered in two books. So for the numbers, you will have to refer to the other book for the chapter number three, that is India, People and Economy. And this is Human Geography, chapter number four. So let's quickly begin. I will be covering this in three parts. Each part will have roughly 15 to 17 short questions, MCQ questions, and also some will cover the chapters so that we can prepare for short question answers. The first question is, what was the per capita income of India at prevailing prices, at the current prices? Options are 28813, 28813, 34233, or 30,712. Answer for this is 20,813. Which of the following states in India of India has the lowest sex ratio among the children aged 0 to 6? So in which one state is the state is the lowest sex ratio? Hai? Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Gujarat, or Haryana. And answer for this one is it's Haryana. So we refer the book also. The situation is more alarming when seen in the context of gender specific and rural urban health indicators. India has recorded declining female sex ratio and the findings of 2011 census of India are very disturbing, particularly in case of child sex ratio in the age group of zero to six years. The child sex ratio has declined in all the states and it is the most alarming in the developed state of Haryana and Punjab, where it is below 850 female children per thousand. So although in the book it is mentioned Haryana and Punjab both, but if compared Haryana and Punjab together, Haryana has the worst sex ratio. And if you remember, Indian government has introduced Beti Bachao Beti Padao program to address the issue of decline in child sex ratio. This was basically aimed where Haryana and Punjab were the worst states. Which one of the following states of India has the highest rank in the Human Development Index? Punjab, Tamil Nadu, Haryana or Kerala? So answer for this student is Kerala. We will refer the book also. In the book, although we have the data for the 2007-8, you can see Kerala has the highest value and ranked number one, followed by Delhi, Himachal Pradesh, and then Goa. So hum, India with a population of 1.20 billion is ranked 130 among 189 countries on the basis of HDI or human development. With the composite HDI value of 0 0.640, India finds herself grouped with countries showing medium human development. And in India, the human development hai, it is done medium. If you look the most ranked hai, human development index that is in Norway, that is ranked first. After that, followed by Germany, USA, UK, Russian Federation, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, Brazil, China, Egypt, Indonesia. These are all countries. South Africa, India is at 130. And followed by Bangladesh. In terms of Human Development Index, which of the following was India's rank amongst the countries of the world in 2018? 129, 130, 126 or 128? An answer is 13. India was 126th in Human Development Index as per Human Development Report in 2006. According to HDI report in 2018, India's rank has further gone down to 130. So, in 2006, our rank और 2018 में ये गिर के 130 आ गया। So this a newspaper clipping which is shown in the book also. 
So again, uh, the top 10 ranked countries with high value index are Norway, Switzerland, Australia, Ireland. When did UNDP publish the first human development report? In 1989, 1991, 1980 or 1990? And students answer for this is 1990. So we will refer the book. Concerted efforts were made to look at development critically at various times in the past, but most systematic effort towards was the publication of the first human development report by United Nations Development Program that is the full form of UNDP in 1990. Since then this organization has been bringing out World Human Development Report every year. So from 1990 onwards it is being published every year. This report does not only define human development and make amendments and changes its indicators, but also ranks all the countries. Using the indicators selected by UNDP or United Nations Development Program, the Planning Commission of India also prepared the report for environmental development, female development, land development or human development. An answer for the students is it's human development. And we will refer the book. Using the indicators selected by the UNDP, the Planning Commission of India also prepared the Human Development Report for India. And it used states and the union territories as the units of analysis. question what units were used by the Planning Commission? It is answer is it used states and union territories as the units of analysis. Subsequently, each state government also started preparing the state level human development reports using districts as the units of analysis. So planning commission leti hai union territories or states ko as a unit or her state leta hai apne district ko as a unit of analysis. According to which human development report, progressive democratization and increasing public empowerment are the minimum conditions of human development. Options are 1994, 1992, 91 or 1993. And answer for this students is according to the human development report of 1993. So we'll refer the book also students. So according to the human development report 1993, progressive democratization and increasing empowerment of people are seen as the minimum conditions for human development. Moreover, it also mentions that development must be woven around the people, not the people around development as was the case previously. So, you can ask question in which report it was mentioned that development must be woven around people and not the people around development. Then you also have the answer. It is the Human Development Report of 1993. Which basic facilities are not available in slums of rural and urban areas? Health, drinking water, education or all of the above. So, very easy students. I We know none of these is available in slums of rural or urban areas. So if we refer the book students, it says thus for India, development is a mixed bag of opportunities as well as neglect and deprivations. There are few areas like the metropolitan centers and other developed enclaves that have all the modern facilities available to a small section of its population or at the ex other extreme of it, there are large rural areas and the slums in the urban areas that do not have basic amenities like potable water, education and health infrastructure available to majority of this population. With a population of more than 120 crores, India ranks dash in 189 countries of the world in terms of human development index. I think we have covered its answer is 130. India ranks 130 in 189 countries. It's a very unusual question. Rekha was born in a peasant family in Bihar, Jharkhand, Uttar Pradesh or Uttarakhand. Answer is Uttarakhand. 
So we'll refer the book also, students. Sixty year, years ago, Rekha was born in a family of small farmer in Uttarakhand. She helped her mother in household chores while her brothers went to school. She did not receive any education. She was dependent on her in-laws after she was widowed immediately after her marriage. She could not be economically independent and faced neglect. And her brother helped her to migrate to Delhi. So, students, see the question. Tha. This is from your book, Unit 1, Chapter 3. Which major segment of the population suffers the most? Male population, older population, female population or the children population? And students, unfortunately, it is the female population which suffers the most in the population segment. So this is also referred in the book. A large segment of female population is the worst sufferers among all. It is also equally true that the relative as well as absolute condition of the majority of these marginalized sections have worsened with the development happening over the years. Which one of the following states of India has the lowest female literacy? And students, this has been taken from the book itself, the question. Options are Bihar, Jharkhand, Jammu Kashmir and Arunachal Pradesh. An answer for this is Bihar. Let's refer the book as to why this is correct also. So when we refer the book, the table 3.3, India literacy rate, let's see. The Bihar has female literacy. Okay, let's start with, first of all, Jharkhand and other states. If you see here, Bihar has 53.33 female literacy, although lower than this is one more state which is not mentioned in the options, it is Rajasthan. So if a question comes, the state which has the lowest female literacy rate, the answer will be Rajasthan because it has got only 52.66. Then we have Bihar, 53.33. Then accordingly, Jharkhand is a little bit higher, 56.21. The man and the 79.59. So if you see, we know the answer now. The lowest is Rajasthan and then we have Bihar. And students, this brings to the end of this part one. I'll be covering the other parts of this chapter in the parts two and part three. So keep watching. And I would like to uh, thank you everyone for liking my videos and sharing these videos. Please keep on liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel so that I keep my motivation up and keep on making such videos for you. Thank you for watching students and I wish you all the success and good luck for your exam and life.